What's up gamers and friends, welcome back for more good vibes and video games and today we're going to be jumping back into Red Dead Redemption 2, the epilogue. Also before we get started, I just want to bring some attention to my new favorite t-shirt that I will never take off again and I don't really care if that's gross. It kind of has me inspired to play the Spider-Man game from 2018 and Miles Morales which I have never played before and... I love Spider-Man. I've played so many different Spider-Man games growing up, but my favorite is the original The Amazing Spider-Man from like PlayStation 1. Okay, sorry, I digress. We're jumping back into Red Dead Redemption 2, the epilogue. Last episode, we saw Charles again. We also got to hang out with Sadie. We found the people that she used to run in a gang with and we hunted them down and took care of them so that was really fun. There is one place that I kind of want to go visit today that I do know about because I had to google it because it was something that I could not miss out on but I'm gonna let that be a surprise for you guys. It's also kind of a surprise for me because I don't really know what to expect but I'm also excited and kind of scared to check it out because I hope it's not too emotional. We've already been through a lot in this game, and frankly, I don't care if the crying, the emotions are cringy, pretty much I live for cringe. And pretty much today, I'm just going to be playing for as long as I want to, as long as my heart desires, so we may or may not finish the game today, we might have a little bit more to go, I don't really know, but I'm just going to keep playing until my heart and my eyeballs can't take it anymore. Thank you guys again so much for clicking on today's video. So with all that being said, I got my coffee and I'm ready to go back in. Hello. I love the music. Hold on, I gotta go check out what that is. Sure. I'm about to give him a fat tip. That sounded really wrong. You know what I mean. Hello, sir. Bravo. Brava. Is that a spider western <laughs> from your cards? That's a good tune. That is a good tune. This is so happy. <laughs> Thanks. No. That was so nice of him to say. You know, I saw the button for Rob and I almost clicked it. But like, I can't do that. Why'd you stop playing? Why'd you stop? I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't even want to rob you. That was like it was a thought. I didn't even do it. Hey, partner. Yo. So far, the new century confuses the hell out of me. The new se You. You know what? And it never gets any less confusing. Never gets any less confusing. Let me tell you. All right. So where are we at? We are in Blackwater. We got Albert Cakes. What a great last name. I love cake. I live for cake. But before we do that, I want to do the little surprise thing, okay? I don't want to look at it on the map or else I'm afraid I'm going to give it away. So I'll just see you when I get there. Please. Somebody. Hey, you. You. I hate to say it, I don't trust you. You gotta help me, Mr. Abel Stucks. Been wanting us to sign okay. our hand over. Only this time they I escaped, but they they have my husband. They're gonna kill him. I will help you. I, I believe you. I Able believe you stocks, now. Huh? Where are they? It's the stone farmhouse back there where I came from. I'll head there now. I'll see about finding more help. Up oh, no need, ma'am. I am on the job. I am all you could ever need. What the hell was that sound? That's... That sounded like a UFO. Just saying. Oh, God! <laughs> yes, this man is definitely in trouble. Uh, say less. I'm here. I was still... I was still kind of assuming that this was like a trap. You see, we're used to a buy more cooperation than you're offering. Boom! Boom! Oh, right in the crotch! Hey! I'm so sorry. Time me, will you? It's all I could see, okay? It's all I had access to. And you know, you gotta hit him where it hurts sometimes. <laughs> oh, oh, 
I'm so. Would you get these ropes off me? Yes, yes, I can. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Those goddamn bastards deserve that and more. I uh, uh, shot him in the dick. I think he got what he deserved. Oh, yes, I did, yes. Yeah, I saw her. Yep. Wester here. She told me to come find you. Oh, oh thank God. But thank you for hearing her call. Of course, any time. Anything for loot and for being a good citizen. Where are you? Not here? Oh, I, I think she was going to go get more help, but that was just not necessary. Anything else down here that's good? I do apologize for shooting you in the nether regions, but like, I did what I had to do, you know what I'm saying? I wonder if they got, you know, anything? This, this, uh, this, there looks to be a shadow and like a brick out of place, but never mind. Okay. I think we're all good. Sorry, not sorry about your no-no spot. Can I go inside or would that just be not right? Would that- barging into their home. Is that frowned upon? Is that the- is this actually the- no, it's not. It's a pile of logs. Oh, there it is. It blunted right in with the wall. <laughs> oh, I can't even get inside. Boo. All right, well, I hope they have a fantastic day. And, uh, hey. yeah. Keep, keep living. Keep, keep on trucking there. Oh, look at all the horses. All right, where is it? Up here, huh? Oh, no! John, no! No, <laughs> no! What a moment. What a moment that was. I'm not Wow! Arthur, you got the best seat in the house! You know, I'm not gonna lie to you, it took me a minute to find this. I was like, where the heck? Oh, oh my gosh! Arthur, I'm gonna cry! This is the- Oh my god, there's like- there's a rainbow, and he pretty much gets to see the best of all, like, the entire map. Oh, And look at all of those flowers. This is a beautiful screenshot. I'm gonna take a screenshot. The story is just so heartbreakingly good. And what- seriously, what a fitting spot for him, too. I was sitting here like, what is the, what is the connection for him being up here? Like, I don't think this is where he died, as far as I'm aware. I think it's nearby, but I don't think this is the exact location. I think that it's just so fitting for him because, A, it's kind of one of, it's kind of by one of my favorite locations in the whole map, by the little hobbit house down below. So I was really, I was really uh, happy to see that it was kind of by that, but to be so kind of high up and far removed from that and then it's, you know, it's its own space with the falls and it's really close to Kalumet Ravine and the reservation and this is kind of like where he spent a lot of his time towards the end of the game and he really started to feel for everybody on the reservation and help them out and we get to see the train tracks that he blew up towards the end there which have now since been repaired really, really cool. I guess, I guess now that I'm kind of talking about it, it does make sense for him to be up here because this is kind of where I feel like he felt connected to towards the end. Aw. I'm really happy I got to find that. And it's nice, it was a nice little surprise to see all of the flowers there too. He deserves it. He deserves all the beauty. He's a beautiful person. I won't have anybody else tell me different. All right, all right, dude, we don't- Oh god, oh god, okay, wee! <laughs> all right, let's go, Buell. Good boy. Good boy, Buell. 
I really love this quaint little town. I think it's just so cute. There's actually a couple of older towns, like, in Ohio that look almost identical to this, like the storefronts. I love that that's called the Silver Skillet Cafe. <laughs> I kind of want to make that, like, open up my own restaurant, call it that. And then have it be a nod to one of the best games of all time. And only the real ones will get it, you know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe you got something to add here. Uncle, again? Not just a cheat, but a coward, you piece of crap. Hey, come on. What'd I do? Hands off the old man. Leave him alone. Oh, screw this. Ain't worth my time. Uncle, get up. Uncle. Thanks, John. Seems like they play some different rules around these parts. What'd you do? Uh-huh. Yeah, I think I read that in the bottom of a bottle once. <laughs> oh, don't you start to. Anyway, I I'll see you back at Beecher's. That's enough excitement for one day. That's enough excitement. <laughs> Stop cheating, old man. It's getting embarrassing knowing you. <laughs> All's fair in love and poker. <laughs> you know that. Yes, I do know that. Maybe mix in some Poker coffee with your next pour, huh? Yeah. Ruins the taste. I will not have that not blasphemy. Coffee? Especially if it's pumpkin spice? Yeah. Yes, I'm a level 14 basic on the pH scale. I don't want to hear about it. Alright, where is this lumber? How the heck do I get back there? Do I gotta jump over some stuff? Where's- Oh, there's Mister. the gate. Mister. I love your jacket. I love the fur trim. That Partner. is nice. Can I have your coat? Is that weird? Okay. Hello there. Hello! Everybody here is so friendly. I like Blackwater. It's a shame we had to run from it the entire game. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know, is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost-efficient. Mm-hmm. Which house do you want? Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a I house? I don't think that's how I that think works. think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee you're home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. You write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. Oh, that easy. Yay. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. Albert Cakes. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> Charles! What are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. Good. Left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. If they're Skinner's about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's gonna be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. That dude's Why? beard! The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. I thought mine so was impressive. Say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Holy Good. smokes. Because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. Ah, uh, if only they had invented the nail gun back then. I love how he's like this, your very own unique house from a catalog that literally anybody can buy at any time. But it's uniquely yours, you know, it's like, okay. Say, 
Is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. So it's all the same to me. Uh -huh. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? I suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait. Look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. <laughs> you hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrent. But you also well, bring attention. Looking big and scary, you can concentrate on the horses. All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before. And maybe I can handle a weapon. Uh. I'm not so different from you, partner. So can we. I think you might be. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. I was just going to say, when I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And okay. I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. Yeah, here. thanks. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally going to meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. Niels he knows, knows me, tools. So we'll see if we can get him to give you some. It won't be free. It won't even be cheap. But they'll be worth what you pay. I've already bought a house and hired you today. So, might as well keep spinning while I'm at it. <laughs> you won't regret it. That's the spirit. Not. You can always earn more money. The good tools will last you a lifetime. This is the spot just up ahead. That's always how it is. Okay. When it rains, it pours. $100 here, $100 there. Before you know it, it all adds up. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Oh, okay. That's my cue. Already built a whole fence. I am basically an expert. Nails. Nice hat. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best Smith around. Let me guess. Okay. No. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Okay, there it is. Have you got any, mate? <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. <laughs> How you feeling? Okay. <laughs> So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Cakes Hardwood. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right then. Beecher's Hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Oh. Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me, but more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World needs men like you. 
And men like me too, sadly. Hey, yeah. wait, hold on. Something's not right. Something is not okay. Oh, oh, oh shit! What the? Everyone find some cover! Oh my god, they were right. Boom! What? Who the heck? There are so many of these people. Ah! Uh, boom! Boom! Oh, I was not the guy I was going for originally. Boom! Ah! Headshot! Woo! Hey, where's my Captain Sword, you turd? Oh my god! Oh my god! What? What? That's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do. It's fine. It's it's cool. We're good. Some healing. We're okay. It's fine. We just got freaking attacked. I'm running up on him. Oh, again, wrong guy. It's fine. Yeah. Boom. Where's your buddy? Get up. Okay, stay still. Stay still. All right. I'm just messing with you. I like to play with my food. All right. You alive? No. Mr. Devin, you okay? Yes. Is that the last of them? I think so. There's more! They got the tools! They grabbed Mr. Wayne! Alright, just stay here, go What do they want the tools so badly? I'm coming! Where are you going? Where are you go Oh, shit. Bully! Okay, alright, wow. Ambush. Ow. Alright, I need to take cover. That's not the place. You made it. They us. They're getting away with I can order the wrong dude. Ooh, hello. They climbed up in the trees. Shoot the ones up there. Boom. Boom. There we go. Ah, move. What? Where you guys at? Oh my god, I, even, I was looking on the floor. Where's this last guy? Where are you? Oh, he's probably up in a tree too, huh? There, yep, there he is. He blended right in. Can I, can I loot? Ooh, he's candy. Great. That's always what I say when in doubt, follow the enemies. Oh, I shot your head! <laughs> you say you'll tie my shoes? Well, thank you, but no need. I am perfectly good at doing that myself. Boom. And then last one. There we go. Easy like peasy. Come on. Let's keep moving. I hope so. They're coming out of nowhere. All right, you just die. Why won't you die? Come here, notch. Oh god. Boom. Mr. White. It's another one. Then where's there's another guy back there, right? Trees. To you too. Okay, where's where's Where our buddy? Trees. Charles, I found the tools. Where's our tools? Now where's Mr. <gasps> Why is it always the eyeballs? That's just disgusting. Oh no 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 no! Jesus! Oh poor guy. We gotta move fast. Come on. They are ruthless. Let's go. Back to the road. He was our protection, but turns out he needed God the protecting. A few minutes ago, he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. Did he? Did he though? I was just gonna say that. Did he? I don't think he did. <laughs> Except me. Later, John. 
This is a very interesting position. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just mesmerized. Charles, you all right carrying him? I got it. There's no use in you getting bloody too. Is he? Is it bad? They opened him up. Mr. Wayne didn't make it. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me. He made it sound like there was a potential that he was still alive. I was like, how? That no. No, that there's just no way. Oh my lord. What'd they do to him? Nothing nice. He was just talking about his family too. Oh what? I don't why why? Why is he those goddamn animals? Load the wagon. We gotta move. Okay. I don't I don't know what he I'm riding with you. I don't know what he's doing. There we go. Yeah. Or, oh, do we want to put the tools in the back or something? Oh, I see. All right, let's get out of here. There we go. Let's go. Oh, do I have to? Get us back to beaches. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this this kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. After what happened, do you killed, think we'd sure. be moving a little bit Good faster? But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. There was a caravan. A few months back. Massacred. Men, women, children. Ended up like Wayne. Or worse. Damn. Oh my gosh, that was the longest and slowest Damn. ride back. And I have no idea if that was on purpose. Oh. Uncle! Ten Uncle. years later. Uncle! I was, uh, you useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Ooh. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town and get poor Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. Unless you're sleeping. <laughs> you say so. Sure. <laughs> Poor uncle. We're still shitting on him even in the epilogue. Nothing. John, Some things don't change. I love you. Aw. Don't you forget that. Go get her back, John. Woo! $800 from the bank. Do we see... Where's our house? Morning, brother. Morning. Where's Charles? Where are you, Charles? Hi, Charles. Morning to you. How you feeling? Tell me. Okay. You fine. <laughs> Uh, it's not fine. It's okay. Real fine. Talk to you later. Okay. All right. Hint taken. I'll see you later. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, weapon locker, change clothing. Do I have any other clothes on me? Outfits. Oh, oh my gosh. Wait a second. Does that mean I get... Oh. <gasps> Do I get, oh my gosh, do I have all of Arthur's clothes? What about our custom outfit? Do I get 
Oh my goodness! The rancher would be fitting. I, I kind of like that looks like something John would wear. But we got all oh, the Dove, the Doville, yeah. Oh, we got this. Oh my goodness. This one really looks like, I love the plaid shirt. This looks like something that he would wear too. The Dewberry Creek. The Pursuer. Ooh, oh, the Innocent. Maybe if we look innocent. The Rebel. The Ruffian. The Brawler. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I want to go with. I really like this outfit. I love, there's something about that, like, kind of gingham plaid look. But who doesn't love a good maroon vest? I think we're going to go with this one. I like a good snazzy outfit. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's put a couple, let's put a couple on the horse. Why, why choose one when we can have maximum three? Maybe four. I don't know. <laughs> The Doville because Arthur used to wear this one all the time. The winter cowboy? Yes. We gotta have our winter outfit. The cowboy? Yeah. I also like the homesteader. Homestead? Or the rancher. Okay, but that's the maximum we can have, so let's go back. I do like this. I do like this outfit, though. Ooh, that purple. Purple is your color. Definitely your color. Do we have anything else on the map that we can do, or is it just talk to uncle? Wow, I kind of want to go out and explore this, but I feel like the story will eventually take us there, and then we can go explore once we've got there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's go have a chat with uncle. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy sure. enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. How hard can it safe, be? <laughs> I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Yeah. Now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Are you use what you've got. Which is less of a brain. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says, the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six-foot-deep hole for me when the work day's over. <laughs> Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he Hiding behind that lumbago. Little... How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Yeah, you know what? You're also a pain on. in my we lumbar. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. <laughs> He's right. We should get on with this. I love how simple yet efficient his comebacks are. Like, you're annoying. You know what? Friends that build together stay together. Unless it's a piece of Ikea furniture. All the way to the end here? Okay. To the beat! Ah! <laughs> Look at the little bird! Okay. Let's do it. Okay. That bird's just chilling there. There's a bird again. <laughs> Is it Arthur in spirit? Oh no. Oh, there. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. We're together. There's the bird in every shot. Where is it in this shot? 
I hope it lands on Uncle. I will laugh my ass off. <laughs> it's definitely Arthur. It's Arthur. He's chastising Uncle in spirit. There we go. Yeah, thanks, Uncle. Yep, thank you. There's the bird. There it is. It's by the chimney. Ooh, look at them pets. There's the bird. Most important. Let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. Oh, I love a good harmony. Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail, and I'll nail it. And I'll nail it. <laughs> we'll work so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter. Any weather. Finally a happy song for once. Oh, yes. She's like, don't... Don't grab my hand. There's a bird again! Oh, <laughs> uh, There it is! He's our little buddy! That bird's gonna make me cry. <laughs> and I think that's I love everything. That stuff. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, oh my god, look at his hair. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> that's longer than I think Arthur's ever got. Gentlemen, to this happy home. At least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly what? in an effort to take out a loan. You. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper Beecher's up at Beecher's Hope. Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and. <laughs> While I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful. Yeah. In his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy Aww. more than I can express. Please. Come back to me. Baby, Yours come back. always, John. A few days later. Oh. It is a really cute little. Oh, there's the little bird. Uncle, I thought you was. There's our true guardian. Where the hell? No, no, don't go! No! Oh, bye, Arthur. Oh my god. Oh, the fact that the little blue bird stayed with us the whole building montage was just so sweet. Oh god, don't. 
Bloody cry! Yeah. Okay. Need to... Winter Cowboy, the Cumberland. Wow. Hell yeah, that looks good. Swap to the Cumberland. You're damn straight, I did. What's Uncle doing all the way he the heck out here? I'm about to develop Lumbago. Oh, there he is. There he is. That was kind of cool. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. I do after well, that bird. I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So that when you're <laughs> old and facing death, I can be some two penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming? Ranching? Planting something? The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so... So cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. Yeah, convenience. Lumber all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. To be fair, we all got a terminal condition. I Nobody really move. gets out of this alive. To. Then I never was that fast. <laughs> the game of life. The most the intense survival world. game Let's you will go. ever play. Um, Rise of Lumberyard in Blackwater. All right, let's go. Now, Shortcut. This fella probably saw you. Thought, here's some corn husk idiot, some country roof. Doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse. And I'm going to rob him blind. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I got to respect him for it. Because if I saw you walk into my lumberyard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Sheesh. Turns out the epilogue is the roast uh, of John Marston. I'm going to actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let's get robbed again. <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Oh, and that's you. Play into your condition. Would Maybe you we'll get some sympathy. With people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too, You're far too comfortable. <laughs> ah, you ain't even got furniture. Another day on the move. Okay. Sheesh. Oh. This is him. Mm-hmm. The lumbar. <laughs> the lumbar salesman. Tell him you saw me. Tell him you saw me. N oh, no. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily. Oh, I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? What? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many Scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Right here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Uh, we're an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's uh, but it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. A pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Pleasure. Of course. Love your work. <laughs> How are we gonna pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help <laughs> you, sir. You've been a good manager. customer, and I like you. And David Geddes likes now, you. I, I, but I, this man <laughs> is very annoying. Can you just give Uncle? me a few days? But he's got lumbago. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? Hell yeah. Hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. 
Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing, and I... You up for a fight? Is it Heck legal? Yeah. <laughs> Is it oh, legal? It's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, me up. it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. Let's go. Her well, horse is gorgeous, so though. It would also match my outfit. Underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I yeah, have it pain in my ass. To find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. Sure. Can we trade horses? I mean, no, I would never do that to Buell. What am I saying? Right. The Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is around those parts split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Del Lobos? Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Oh, I ran into them. Ooh. Mostly Mexicans. Some of them, but some is Californios, and some are regular Californios. Americans too. They're a misfit bunch, just like we were, and they're friendly, real friendly. Oh yeah. Ugh, it's a bad situation down there. Burnings, killings, you name it. I know something of that. And not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but. There ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild country. Yeah, I met him. Don't you get around. Don't you, know, you I had get some around. Trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about? Was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. Ooh. They ain't nice. Nice weren't what I heard about him. Got hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We hey, we've been here himself. before. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure I remember you this. did the best you could. I've heard, well, all the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not... I feel like it won't be. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You must got caught. How rude of me. Can we go now? Oh, yeah, uh, As I was yeah. saying, me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of them pre cut ones. Me and Charles put it up, and Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Uh -huh. but, well, then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ooh, there we go. There it is. Easy. This is Painted Sky up here. Looks quiet. Oh, well, it's deserted. Oh, Cortez, you better be here. Oh, uh, there's smoke coming out of the house. You search so... that barn. I'll take the main house. Got my guns on me. Get him. Should probably be quiet. Break lock. Be quiet about it. Ooh. 
Come on, Cortez! Or not. No. So much for quiet. Ah! Help! It'll all be over soon. Help! <laughs> Get wrecked. Ooh! You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. <laughs> yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. That was easy. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? Ooh. It's different there now. Yeah. I've been there. Turns out Pearson's got himself a new gig. Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Okay. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Sure. <laughs> You're coming with me. Come on. Oh, the dog's oh, uh, the dog. The horse's name bitch. is Hera. 300. 300 for her head. Be I'll take a thousand. Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, no. Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are going to ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard him till my boys arrive and we can get him out of here. Are his, are his sure. dudes gonna try to uh, come break him out? years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> Ooh, creepy. It's a creepy shot. Nobody's coming for you. John looks great with long hair. I love the long hair. Whoa, Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. You want that friend back? You have about 10 seconds, Come Sheriff get Thomas, him. before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let him have it, boys. The Lobos. Yeah, let's go. That's right, Sadie. <laughs> what? I need to take cover. Come on, let's go! Oh wait, crap, there's a dude behind me. Ha ha ha, you're not getting away. That is all you. Where are you? Stay down. There we go. That's smart. They are smart. Where are you going? Where are you going? 
Oh no no no. No. What was it? Come on! Jail! The jail! Oh. They blew my jail apart. He's gone. He's gone. He well, can't have gotten well, far. Go. We brought him in. Now pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shocked today as well as Rob, mister? Are you oh. threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. This kind and of what another she did, $50 though. besides. A hundred dollars. 75. That's right. I can't go higher. Yes, you can. Done. Okay. What? Let's go, Jim Milton. He can't have gotten far. Where is he going to go? Come on. What do you take? A plane? There, boy. <gasps> Where are we going to wow. find him? Wow. Perfect he timing. He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some. Bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. <laughs> Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, guess we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Grays and Braithwaite's, but... Clearly, he ain't done What a enough. time. So Good time. You trust him? Yeah. He'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's not a thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. Okay, I boss. I said I was tempted by it. It is odd. It's an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So bounties. Legal kidnapping. Deserves it, you think? <laughs> sure. No. I don't know. Usually. If I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. She's got a if point. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Hold up. Down there. Fire. Ooh. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's you find sure? a good vantage point. Okay, whatever you say, yeah. boss. Creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look oh. at it before we do anything. Just make sure it is them. They got out here pretty darn fast. Set up camp and everything. Okay. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them? Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. I'm gonna me. Go get them. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I wanna die. And besides, what? those bastards don't look that tough. I they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. I love her so much. And shoot well. And shoot well. I love her. She is such a badass. Oh, there. First victim. 
Oh! Yep. So much for that. I, I hope I'm supposed to be shooting, because that's what I'm doing. Oh, crap. Whoops, that was on it. Where's this other guy? Oh, there you are. Didn't really go down, huh? Stay down. This other guy. Oh, there you are. Ooh. Oh. Okay, he's dead. Where is... Where I know, I know. Gotcha. I'm coming. Uh, that, uh, that wasn't me. He, that was all him. He just jumped. He went for it. Wait, I want my... Okay. Pistols! Nice. They still alive, ain't they? Hey, 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 hey! Alright, I need to hide. I need to hide. I need to hide. Ooh! Oh! <laughs> Note to self, don't run into the gunfire. Yo, get down here. I'm yeah, let's maybe take this way down. It's probably a little bit safer. Eh, not much safer. Actually, hold up. I can Can I clean my guns first? Yeah, these need to be cleaned. Sorry, one second, Sadie. Just give me uno momento, por favor. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I probably should have planned this a little bit better, but here we are. I did not like how less accurate my guns felt. It was bothering me. Where are these fellas? Let's see what we can do about that. Oh no, wrong one. All right, that works. There we go! What the hell? Move, 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 move! What are you doing? Oh my god! Holy smokes! Get out of here. Ah, that's right. Ooh! Alright, I cannot bloody see these guys. There we go. Let's heal ourselves. Nice shot. Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> I feel so cool with these dual pistols. Move, move, move. Excuse you. Uh, is this guy? Is this the guy? Should I be? That's the bounty. I'm sure we don't want to kill him. Oh, uh, make him turn around. Don't kill him. Got it. You want to die right now, Cortez? Put a hole in the boat. So you really want me to shoot you? You might get lucky in court. Get over here. Alright, amigo. Yeah, that's what I thought. Try anything clever, you're gonna get shot. Oh, hold your horses, chica. Get out of there! <laughs> I said, get out of there! Easy, easy, girl. Oh, you gave up easy a long time oh. ago. <sighs> hey, look out. More of them coming. Hey! Let's do that key! Shut your gut down now! Ooh. All right, let's go. Let's do bolt action right now. Bring it on! Bring it on, I love a fight. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, anyone want some more? We might just be. 
son of a bitch! Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. I'm gonna uh, loot him real fast. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. <laughs> I'd stay well clear. Well, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Stow. Let's get out of here. Hmm. Me gusta. Hello, boy. Me again. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? No, I think he's you're done. You're a dead woman, and you are a dead man. The de Lobos. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, though. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> oh my god, that was my favorite. <laughs> what were you saying? I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't catch that. Uh. Woo! Okay, all right. We're, this we're on the struggle bus. We're we are definitely on the struggle bus right now. <laughs> oh. All right, let's try that. Let's try that again. Oh man. Are you gonna listen? The lobos will not forgive this. <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you, and we will kill you, you, and anyone who is close to you. Where's Sadie? Where is Sadie? There she is. Okay. Whew. Hey, you're doing this again. Whoa, now. Come on. Sure as shit ain't wise to sneak up on me. What was you saying? Why what you say? I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, well, yeah, sure. what we got here is a trust issue. Oh, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Denis to hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Ooh, you upped it to 5K. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't going to find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman. Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you. You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're, we're banking come on for it. You. Well, I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fight, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. He's so dramatic, I love it. Yeah. So go! It's my show, remember? You do the heavy lifting. Isn't Yeah, what do you what do you mean? Poor Buell here is doing the heavy lifting. All right, where's my money? You want pay it, you get back to it. Oh. Who are you talking to? Remove Ramon. Let's just finish this. Big mistake. Real big mistake. I'll see you again. See we you got again. him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? Yeah. How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go, pay me. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Yeah. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, she amigos. Should... 
Shut up. <laughs> she should have said plus the hundred just to see if he Thanks remembered her. Can you send my money to the bank for me? Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? Or nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. Hmm. If you say so. See you around, partner. The barn? Oh, look at that! We already got a barn! Bank debt repaid! Alright. Here's your post, boy. That's good, Buell. That's good. Oh, it's taking me everything I have not to go down here and to wait for the story to naturally take us down here, but I really want to go explore this brand new. Madillo. Madillo. McFarland's Ranch. Stillwater Creek. Thieves Landing. Ooh, this place down here sounds really fun. What the heck is that? Uh, pit. Pike's base. I was like, what does that even say? I can't read that. that those letters. Okay. Alrighty, but I think that's it for me today. As always. Oh my god, that yawn just snuck up on me. Woo, what was I saying? Thank you guys again so much for watching this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. And I'm definitely feeling internally the redemption side of things. We got to see Arthur's grave, which was super touching. And it was really sweet to see all of the flowers there. And I wonder if that's because we he died with such high honor. And it does make me think, you know... There was a lot of redemption, even with Arthur's story towards the very end. Like, he died kind of having made so many things right. And then you can feel the redemption here with John Marston and his story. And he's really just trying to rebuild a new life for him and his family and his friends. It's cool to see the whole gang kind of coming together again. And to see his ranch really grow and turn into what I assume is probably going to be his homestead from the original game. Which, yes... I want to play so badly. I'm gonna eventually play the first Red Dead Redemption on this channel. I can't, I can't help myself. It's just, it makes sense to carry on John Marston's legacy and to continue to honor the greatness that was him, Arthur Morgan, Sadie Adler, hopefully Uncle's, in, oh my gosh, if Uncle's also in the first game too, that would be amazing, and Charles. That'd be so cool. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, and if you're looking forward to the next episodes for Red Dead Redemption 2 or what's left of it, make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell button to get notified for all of those episodes. Also, while you're here, make sure to check out all the links down below in the description. I'm gonna go hop off right now, and this video, hit the bathroom, get a snack, and I'm gonna sit right back down here and continue playing through the epilogue. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next time.